It's Tuesday the 6th of September, I'm Tom Gregan. Several people have been taken to hospital following a fight between two gangs of up to 40 people in Staley Bridge. According to witnesses, fighting broke out in Coco's nightclub in the early hours of Saturday morning. One of the groups was believed to be from Hattersley, while the other from the Newton area of Hyde. Security staff managed to intervene and forced most of the fighting outside, where it continued onto Melbourne Street. Witnesses report several people were left unconscious while others fought around them. One man received serious injuries to his head and was taken to Hope Hospital in Salford. His condition is unknown. Over 500 guests attended a memorial service at Manchester Cathedral on Thursday for the late Dr Tom Mannion, CEO of the Irwell Valley Housing Association, who died earlier this year. Tributes from family, residents and colleagues spoke of a brilliant mind who made a unique contribution to housing policy. You can read a full tribute in this Thursday's edition of the Tameside Reporter. A man from Ashton has been chosen out of hundreds of people across the North West as a regional finalist for Specsavers Spectacle Wearer of the Year. 34-year-old Stephen Carruthers, who's used to the limelight after finding love on the Channel 4 show The Undateables, could win £10,000 in cash and an all-expenses trip to New York if he wins. He'll also get the chance to rub shoulders with celebrities at the annual Spectacle Wearer of the Year Awards in London in October. He was invited to visit his local Specsavers store in Ashton to be rewarded with his regional finalist prize, a bottle of champagne, a certificate and a £150 glasses voucher. And finally the weather, it's a cloudy day today but very warm with temperatures of 22 degrees and humidity around 70%. Tomorrow will be mostly the same with a short spell of sunshine in the late afternoon. That's all for this week. For all your latest local news and sport, visit InsideTameSide.com or head to the Tameside Reporter and Glossop Chronicle Facebook pages.